All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm TJ Bliss. I'm the Chief Academic Officer for the Idaho State Board of Education in Idaho in the United States. And really uh, grateful for the opportunity to chat with you briefly about what's going on here in this state uh, related to open education. Slide, please. So I'm going to talk about uh, three different areas, well, really two different areas, policy and funding. I lost the slide uh, cable. Looks like you're sharing your desktop now. There we go. So uh, policy and funding, and then we're going to talk about community building efforts here around open education. Uh, just by way of, of context, the State Board of Education in Idaho oversees all education from pre-kindergarten through graduate school uh, in terms of public education. My work focuses primarily on higher education, uh, but I do have conversations on the K-12 side occasionally as well. So I'll be talking specifically about higher education in Idaho and what works going on with open here. And there are other things happening in K-12, which I'm not going to address today. On the policy front, there are, uh, there, we actually do have an OER policy here in Idaho. It was passed uh, a year ago. Uh, there, there was input from the community that it turns out was not really uh, attended to very well. And so the policy is not in the state that it needs to be. And we've heard a lot of feedback from faculty. It basically mandates uh, the use of open education in, in general education courses. And I think we all know that mandating OER is not a good way to go, especially unfunded mandates. So we're working, uh, Jonathan Lashley is my Associate Chief Academic Officer and he leads our OER efforts in the state. And some of you may know him, uh, he's been in the OER field for a while. And uh, we're working with faculty across our eight public higher education institutions in Idaho to redevelop that policy, to bring it up to, up to standard with where, where uh, we know OER policies need to be. So that's work that's happening, uh, really kicking off this month. And we hope to have a new policy on the books uh, by as soon as April. And that uh, policy, which I'll give you a link in a second here, is called Instructional Material Affordability. I don't know if it will keep that name or not. We may decide to change the name as well. But the purpose of that policy is to promote the use and professional development of OER, especially in general education in Idaho, and also to encourage the use of low cost and sustainable alternative course materials, uh, including library subscriptions. We also recognize there are other policies in our, in our state policy um, manual that are important for open education, including academic freedom and responsibility. We have a policy around that. It hasn't been updated since the 90s. So we need to update it to align with current standards and we need to make sure we're protecting open pedagogy. Uh, there also is a student policy that has academic freedom and responsibility language in it. We wanna update that language as well. And then we have an intellectual property policy that we'll want to make sure we're providing explicit referencing, reference to open licensing. We wanna clarify IP ownership of open education projects. So there's a lot of policy opportunity right now. And the position that Jonathan and I are in is one that we can really have a big influence on that. We bring uh, the stakeholders together. Uh, we, we propose these policy changes to our state board of education and, uh, and make the case for these policy changes. So we're looking forward to a lot of policy action and movement uh, here in Idaho in the, in the coming year. Slide, please. This is just a picture of um, the, the, the current policy on textbook and instructional material affordability. It's, it's quite limited in scope. Uh, it also, like I said, has some, some serious issues uh, that we're trying to rectify. And there's a link there that you can go to the entire section three of our board book, which is the, the section that deals with academic affairs and and um, and particularly uh, has this policy as the view. So uh, next slide, please, Cable. So in addition to this, we also have had some legislative funding for open education in Idaho. It's not been much, but it is very welcome. We had $50,000 a couple of years ago uh, from the state legislature. And Jonathan Lashley, when he started at the board office about, uh, over a year ago, he launched what's called the OPAL Fellowship, the Open Pedagogy Advocacy and Leadership Initiative. Idaho is known as the GEM State, so this is a, a, a good name for this initiative. And the focus on this, of this fellowship is not so much content creation as it is leadership development. The outcome is also content creation, and I'll show you some of that outcome. Uh, but that $50,000 is basically paid for fellowships for 14 faculty over three semesters where they can engage in professional development with state academic and public librarians as well. 
And we've partnered with the Rebus community to develop OER for general education. So the Rebus textbook success program is providing the training for the open publishing. And we have a community platform, which has you know, a venue for contributors to collaborate. Uh, we're also building through this a statewide community of practice in open education. So there, we have weekly meetings hosted by the board office by Jonathan uh, with faculty library and other staff champions around um, open education, which is wonderful. And that's going to grow over time. We also have the, the current OPAL projects um, is a, include a first year writing textbook aligned with state outcomes, as well as college algebra. We have languages, German, Spanish, and French OER, and, and they're in, using H5P, which has been mentioned a lot today. And then we're curating GitHub collection to, of OER to promote information literacy for librarians and patrons. So there's a lot going on with the OPAL project. Uh, the next slide shows just an example of uh, what one of these uh, open textbooks look like. This is called uh, Write What Matters. It's a it's a, a first year writing course in Idaho. It's a very long book. I think it's like 2,000 pages or something like that. It's very comprehensive, but obviously it's open, so you can use any portion of it that you want as an instructor or or any other one who any other who might want to use it. And this also is published on on Pressbooks, which I'll talk about in a, in a moment as well in terms of our community building. So I invite you to take a look at this. I'll uh, the the link I'll give you in just a moment. So uh, the next slide is the last one about policy and funding. So we have joined with four, three other states and the Rebus Foundation to uh, apply for the US Department of, Open Edu of Education Open Textbook Pilot Grant with a project called Idea for OER, which is four states committed to inclusion, diversity, equity, and accessibility with the goal of improving student success through collaboration and advancing open educational resources in high demand fields. So, Fingers crossed that we might be uh, successful in receiving some funding, more funding from the federal government here in the United States to, to promote uh, the development of open textbooks across our higher education institutions. So then just the last slide here uh, around community building. So what we've been able to do is we've paid for a, a press books license for the entire state. All higher education institutions have access to press books and you can go to idaho.pressbooks.pub and see what's being developed including this OER, a field guide for academic librarians, Jonathan Lashley and colleagues developed that writing textbook is there as well. And this is helping us promote OER development at our institutions and providing the tools for them. And in terms of broader open education community, we have a statewide membership in the Open Education Network where we helped plan and participated in the 2020 Open Education Conference. And we're also uh, advising regional and consortial OER initiatives here in the West, uh, in the Western United States including through WCET and WICHE. So there's a lot going on. There's a lot of exciting things happening. We hope you'll pay attention to Idaho. We heard comments from people at Open Ed that Idaho, quote, Idaho is being very progressive around OER, which is not something you ever hear, Idaho and progressive in the same sentence. Uh, we, we welcome that and are excited to, to know that we're, we're making some, some progress here in our state. And we're so grateful for the faculty who are stepping up and, uh, and contributing and participating and being part of this community. So. With that, I'm happy to take questions. Uh, and I provided contact information here for me and for Jonathan. Jonathan leads the OER efforts. So uh, please reach out to him with any specific questions. And I think I'll stop there and take any questions.